Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer Rosso here coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mark Watch for December. And it's been a while since I did a Mark Watch. I had some other videos planned, and boy oh boy do we have a lot to go over, including some requests from you guys. But before that, I just want you guys to know I'm doing a 1K sub special for those who do not know. Uh, giving away Ghost MST and a Dark Magician Girl from Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1 Super Rare uh, on my Astral Pack 2 giveaway. So go check that out. Also, if you guys can leave a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And if this video gets 65 likes, and the reason I'm asking for a lot is because I'm going to go and buy out my local Walmarts, all their Phantom Rage, and show it on camera. They have quite a bit of Phantom Rage, so if you guys want to see a huge opening, make sure I hit 65 likes. Also, if you guys want me to go over any cards, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're buying cards off TCG Player, please use the affiliate code down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. And if you want me to go over any cards, let me know, because I love it when you guys ask questions and all that. So... Before we begin though, Mystic Swordsman level 6, I got a damage copy here. Now there's going to be a better picture on my Twitter because it's very hard to show up on my webcam. But as you guys could tell, this is absolutely, this is destroyed. So the back as well is really effed up. Like this this was run over by a car, I believe. Uh, I, I don't know personally, but this looks like some an ultimate rare that's been run over by a car. Uh, definitely damaged. So... Hurrah. And by the way, I did not get this for 5 or $6 because when, the, when I went back to buy this, someone bought the, uh, the first set damage for 6 So I had to buy it for $10. But apparently, now it's back here. So that's great. Uh, I love it. But yeah, mod plays for 17s. Uh, have you, that's, that's okay. Light play, 87. First set, 95. I mean, would I pay this for a Mystic Swordsman level 6 ultimate rare? Be honest, I just put the $100 into something else. Bujin Yamato. Now, I understand that this was 200 something dollars. I fully get it. But $68 going up to 70 I mean, this is way better because I said it was going to go up to about $80 and then calm down. Uh, would I pay this for Ultimate Rare Bujin Yamato? I mean, any Bujin deck is going to use this at three copies. So if you do want to play Bujins, $70 is kind of what you're paying. I think they're going to go down. By the time Blazing Vortex comes out, people are not going to really care. Because this isn't going to be some sort of meta deck, at least from what I've seen so far. The support is good, however. The support is good. Um, I believe these are going to go down to 50. So if you really want them, just wait till then. Uh, Bujinki Tsukiyomi Ultimate. Now, I have one of these because any light deck that has level 4s, essentially this helps you shuffle your hand and discard. It's actually really good. Since once per turn you detach one material from this card, you send all cards in your hand to the graveyard. Just a minimum of one. Uh, then you draw two cards. So essentially you get to plus one. Uh, you also get to discard as well. So you can get a plus off that since... Uh, well, you don't get to discard. You send the cards in from your hand to the graveyard. So that's a little unfortunate. But if it's something I could do something in the grave, like, you know, uh, that would be great. Like, you know, global, but even though it's banned, that's the only thing coming to mind right now. Then it's pretty good. Uh, but if it leaves be out of the field because of an opponent's card effect... You can target uh, a number of level 4 Bujin Beast Warrior type monsters in your graveyard up to a number of XYZ materials that were attached to this card. You can some of those targets, but you can only control one of them. So it's actually a really good card. Uh, helps you shuffle your hand and all that. Uh, lightly play it for about 8 bucks there. That's not bad since first set light play are about 18. So if you want to just get a copy, that's not bad. Quick cheap copy that first sets are about 20. How much are near mints though? First set near mints are about $25. Not bad. This is definitely the card I would get. Uh, if you want to reap in for the Bujin hype, because this card could just be used in other decks as well as Bujin, so you kind of got leverage and coverage over that, along with it is from Legacy of the Valiant, a set that getting first set is a little difficult for, so Bujin Ki Amaterasu goes through, this went up as well, which is hilarious, because this card actually isn't that good at all, it's actually probably the worst, one of the worst ghost rares, except for the Monarch one, at least in my opinion, uh, light play for 28. Uh, first I like play 30, 30s, okay, that's tolerable. Uh, first and near mints, though, are $40. Would I pay this? No, but I'll tell you this. It's way better than when this card got bought out at $250 or $300. I literally said that Mark Watch, this, this is not worth it, I'll give it away. But, if it ever hits that price up again or somewhere near, which I really hope not because this card shouldn't be worth that much, I'll, I'll give mine away. I do not care about this card. I got it for like $10. Uh, number SO Utopia Zexel here. Uh, Shonen Jump Magazine promos. Uh, seven bucks. Remember, this card did not get hit at all, which I'm very shocked at. Like I said, it seems like they, the ban list did only half its homework. 
forgot about it, and then turned it in regardless. That's how I saw the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. That's how I would describe it. Which you guys are going to get analysis sooner or later, by the way. Uh, just getting some information right now, so expect to see that video in the next couple days. But yeah, seven, bu eight bucks for this, that's pretty good since this is still a good card. I mean, people still use the Numeron engine. It's just highly underrated. Uh, and then you have Super Rish, about two bucks here. That's not bad. I would just go straight to the Show and Jump version, though. That, at least in my opinion, I think that's the best version. Uh, Cyber Angel Ben 10 here. Uh, getting bought out. First sets are 13. Uh, this card was always around 9 or 10 dollars. So I said, if you want to go grab it. Now it's kind of raising up a little bit. If you want to copy, go for it. There's actually a very broken combo with this, with this and Dryden's. Uh, it helps just skip your opponent's turn. And I actually mean that. Uh, you skip their. Uh, main phase, battle phase, and main phase 2. So, they only get standby end. Which is actually pretty insane. Um, I mean, is it consistent? It's consistent enough. <laughs> Let me tell you that. You can play through interrupts. You don't have to open up too broken for it. It's not like one of those, like, uh, weird 5 card. You need these specific 5 cards. If you get interrupted, you're done. Type decks. No, it's not like that. It's actually pretty consistent. So, would I pick this up? Yeah, I really would. Uh, Trap Trick Sarah, the new Trap Trick support is actually golden. Like, the new link is amazing. Having that link too is absolutely good. The, the monster's alright. It's not bad. It's definitely good. I mean, some people want to run, like, an extra Trap Tricks or two. That could be your extra Trap Tricks or two. There's so many Trap Tricks that are, like, good, but they're only good at, like, one or two. It's, it's what I love about the deck. It's, it's very versatile. But... Trap Tricks here coming at you at $17. I love this deck going up to 20 So, this card is kind of like a buy low, sell high kind of card. Like, it's been bought out multiple times at this point. Uh, very great card. Would I invest into Trap Tricks? I would play test online. If you like it, get it. If you don't, it's whatever. But this is definitely a deck that I don't know why it keeps getting love and support from Konami, but I'm not complaining. Uh, Grandmaster of the six. Uh, here's Strike of Neos. Apparently, this got bought out. Mob plays for 46. Eh, I expect that. First and Light plays 75. First and Nermit, 250. Ooh! Okay. No, that's a little too much. But Light play for 75? I mean, hey, this might be worth it if it's going up to 250. So, if you guys want to buy that copy out, might not be bad. I mean, it's a lot of money, I'll tell you that, though. Uh... Magician of Black Chaos, Secret Rare coming out, Premium Pack 1. Uh, I'm going to put filters on because I don't want to shift through all the garbage. Lightly Plays, 350. Uh, near Mint's about 9 bucks. That's actually pretty good. Uh, 9 bucks and going up, so... Not not bad. I mean, it is a Premium Pack Secret Rare. Uh, right, and it is a collector's uh, card. So, getting some copies of this, either Light Play or Near Mint, might be pretty good. I would definitely go for Near Mint more than Light Play, but... No reason not to get both. I mean, a few light plays to sell and a few near mints. Maybe you could PSA grade them. A uh, lot of the normal here. Uh, common, you can only activate this card when there are five face-up level two or lower monsters on your side of the field. Both players discard all cards in their hands and destroy all monsters on the field except level two or normal monsters. Essentially, this board wipes, but you still have five cards on the field, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, if you can ever somehow get this proc it off turn one, that's pretty good, especially because... I believe that there, we have Galaxy Serpent is a level 2 normal, and it would work with this card. So you have a tuner, which since you have no, four level 2s on the field, you could sync up for Herald. Uh, and then you could go into something like Sky Cavalry or some other rank 2. Uh, we have a pretty decent rank 2 pool, I believe, at this point. Uh, or you can go into some type of level 6, or you could just link off really into something cute. Uh, which is pretty good. And then you have that, and you have Herald, so you have the one interrupt for the only card your opponent's going to draw. And then you have a monster on board that you could keep attacking directly with. So I think that if there's any type of FTK with this card, not really FTK, but this cardboard, it's not bad. Uh, three bucks, um, about six, and then nine. So there's literally just a playset here. If you feel like buying out this Dark Revelation card, you could, but then there's Ancient Sanctuary uh, comments, which just is a short print, mind you. Uh, first heads for two bucks. Uh, I would just get two of the first heads and maybe one of the Dark Revelations. But three, four bucks. Uh, definitely a card that would def would uh, be good for a super rare reprint. Something like a Hollow in one of our you know newest sets, reprint sets, would be pretty good actually. But if this card is used in anything, let me do know. Uh, and yeah, 
Harpy Dancer lost our promo is literally tanking with six bucks here. Wow. If you want them, I get them. Uh, I don't know why it's tanking so much. Hero of the Orange Light. So a lot of people actually correcting me on why this got bought out. It is because of Dryden's uh, as well. So I guess that's how my connections knew about because I never really asked the reason. But thank you guys for correcting me. Whenever you guys tell me, hey, uh, this got bought out because of this, I actually really appreciate it. I know some people on the platform, I don't know why, are very stubborn. They're like, oh, wow, you guys are wrong. No, you guys are right. If you want to correct me, that's great because now I know, right? And now I'm not spreading some type of misinformation, you know, helps us all learn, etc. Et I, I don't know why criticism and fixing what someone said is always such a bad thing. People's egos are just too fragile nowadays. But thank you to all those uh, who correct me on this buyout. But Hero of the Orange Light, uh, 40 hours, I still wouldn't pay this shit. Uh, I go, I go 25, 25 maybe, but it is what it is. Uh, you even have stuff like the Dual Genesis, uh, copy game bought out here. Uh, First Ed's, well, you got near mids for about six. First Ed, like, plays seven and a half. Uh, First Ed near mids, though, that's what I want to see. 850, no thank you. Judgment Dragon. So a guy actually asked me to go over this because he wants to go in on this. Like, I know you hate the card. I'm like, man, you guys remember I hate this card and you still ask me to go over it? Wow. Which, by the way, it's fine if you want me to go over this. Uh, it's just, I gotta tell you guys a story on why I hate this card. It was definitely one of the worst Yu-Gi-Oh! days I've ever had in my life. I'd say definitely a top three. Like, I'd probably give it either number two or number one. Probably number two. Uh, personally, but... I will say that story, uh, maybe I'll make the video this month, actually, since I don't have any discussion videos lined up, at least not too many. Uh, you can snag life play copies for 250 Have I, have I not taught you anything about TCG player light play? I mean, to be fair, uh, okay, let me X out of these filters. If you do want it, uh, it's way better to pick up these light plays than that near mint. Uh, so it's not bad. I mean, you could get three here. If you get three, hopefully one of them is going to be maybe close, maybe light play. It's not bad to have, per se, so go for it if you want. Uh, what's it called? Zenovia. So a guy in my comment section below is like, hey, man, you're not sure enough love for Zenovia. I actually do love Zenovia, uh, especially when she's first introduced. I think she's a really great character. She just gets uh, pushed to the side a lot, I believe, after her introduction. In fact, when she gets introduced, which is in the whole uh, Holy... Uh, I believe it's the Holy Sword arc with Kaiba and his backstory. I think that's amazing, actually. I thought Season 2 is actually probably one of my, my favorite seasons of High School DxD. Either that or number 1, even though the third one has Akino's backstory and all that. Very hard to tell, but man, I do love Synovia as well. Uh, this side of stock, the sleeves look really dope. Uh, you also have the Holy Sword Lancer user. Uh, 14 sets. I actually, I actually need to get some of these. Oh, what's this one? Believing in the same dream. Oh my god, that looks so... Oh, his hand is there too. See, I love how White Shirts does this, and then you get TCG players like, we're going to center the same card 19 times. 25 sets. Uh, you know, if anyone has high school DXT cards, send them my way. Uh, Karibo Retro Pack 1. Uh, let's see here. 8 bucks. Okay. Not bad. I mean, if you want, this is the version I would personally get. Since Retro Pack 1's kind of hard, you only have a couple copies here. Uh, and then, actually, let's look at this really quickly. Maximum Gold uh, Blue Eyes, First Edge are 29. No thank you, there's just way better Blue Eyes to buy. Also, Karibo, I know this says Bronze here, but I actually want to show something here. Uh, about a dollar, two bucks for these Karibos. Uh, the thing I want to show here is that the Duelist League promos, like the green ones, you got them. Cheap copies for about three fifty. Light play two fifty here. You really got two dollars here. That's pretty good. And uh, free shipping over five. So if you grab two, they're really like five bucks. Uh, you got blue ones here. Like you have some really good Karibos you can actually get here. Uh, for quite cheap actually. So I would get these dual sneak promos before they're gone. I mean we've seen other cards like Dark Magician Gold. She's Dark Magician Gold, but still be worth like hundred something dollars. Karibos at less than twos. I don't know. I feel like that's something criminal going on. So if you want some cool cards to go to get, go for it. This might be in a five card time in your trade binder. You never know. VFD didn't get hit. That's cute. Uh, twenty bucks, Lamau. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I still think this deck's insanely cheap. You're paying sixty dollars for a place of this, but honestly, if you go to a guy who has a place to be like, hey, I'll do fifty, he's he's not gonna tell you no. 
but let's say you're ordering off online 60 bucks and then everything else essentially is going to basically cost you 10 bucks you got calamities being a two dollar card uh nothing else in the main deck is really worth much money i know the synchro that you play one of you know it's really good it's like five six bucks the whole deck is not that much money that's what i really like about it i mean especially depending on what you have lying around because emergency teleports quite a bit but Number C-102, Archfiend Seraph. It's an old Ultimate uh, Primal Origin. You got First Light Plates here for about three sixty six, dollars uh, 4 bucks, And then First Light Nermit, about 5 6 bucks. Now that we have all the numbers here, people are going to want. This is an awful card, right? Will most likely never see play. But still, not bad for a number collection. So, if you want some random ultis, because uh, people really like me showing off, this this is, you know, it exists. It's not bad, but Dark Paladin, Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. Uh, apparently, this got bought out. First Set Light Place 36. First Set Near Mints. I'm not saying them. That's scaring me. <laughs> I'd rather get two Light Plays. But one thing I want to show you guys is the Speed Duel Battle City Secret Rare Box. Uh, First Set Near Mints are nines. Uh, that's not bad. There's a bunch of these, but man, is that good. Like, the Speed Duel Battle City Box. We're actually going to go over this because... I think it's amazing, like, for value. I mean, people are like, oh, it's all it's cracked up to be. Ugh, I mean, I don't know if it's random. I don't know exactly what it is here. So I want to click. Maybe it'll tell me. Uh, oh, it's 8 out of 24. So it's a random 8 out of 24. Okay, and then you got some game mats. Uh, if you guys want me to see this, let me know in the comment section below. I actually do like speed duels a little bit. I don't really dabble too much in it. But what I really, really like is the... No amount of cross out secret rare. I think this is brilliant since this is the highest rarity version. Since I believe all we have is super rares of this card, it quickly goes up to ten dollars from six. Very, very good investment here for gold format and everything else. Beautiful card. The blue eyes, I mean, literally, like, stop printing the tablet version, please. Just please. There's nobody likes this. Like, I don't know what Konami's infatuation with this shit is. I'm, I'm sorry to get so mad. It's just 16. Ugh. I mean, it does look it does look kind of nice, but... Mm, I, I don't want you. Uh, let me guess. They have Dark Magician with the Speed Duel. Yep. Yep. Here, I, I, I actually will not bother with these two. I know that sounds salty, but... Ugh. Paladin is amazing. The Rota looks so good, but like, I don't know... The Red Eyes is great. The Buster Blader, the Jinzo, the Foolish Burial Secret Rare, I think is actually very underrated since all Foolish Burial Rarities are worth like three bucks. Six bucks for a Secret Rare? That's really good since it's just cheap a lot. And this is going to be something that people don't understand, but you could play this in your normal uh, Spell Canceler Secret Rare, three bucks. That's really good. I uh, got cheaper Breakers. Secret Rare Cyclones for threes. That's actually very, very relevant. Got the God cards. You got Cyber Harpy Lady, which this is really cheap as well. Uh, I mean, for a common, it's two bucks. I don't know why all versions of this is worth so much money, but it really be like that. Uh, let's go on to... Oh, Secret Rare Metaverse. That's cute. A lot of this is actually really nice. But yeah, that's kind of all we really have here, but it, it's nice. Uh, Archosaurus here, 50 bucks, going up to 6 55 so, if you want them, you could grab them, I mean, if you like dinosaurs, I think this is a great card to pick, I mean, however, it could get reprinted in the next Megatons, which that's when I think it is, so, if you don't see yourself using dinosaurs for the next four months, don't pick it up, but, if Gishki Mining, this went to three, so I'm not shocked at this, I mean, tens, okay. Is anyone going to pay that? Probably not. The Secret Rares, though, are also bought out, so... Which is even... The, the only thing I love is... Would you rather have a First End Nermit for about 16? Or would you get a DT for 10? Hmm. The choices. Like, this is what I really don't get about buyouts. Like, why would you... And to be fair, this is probably more rare because there's more Hidden Arsenal 5 product than there are cards of Hidden Arsenal 5. Because this is literally one of the worst side sets in the game. If not the worst side set. Uh, number 89, Diabolus, the Mind Hacker. I remember these were $200, and I felt like buying it one day for some, like, cute, you know, just to be cute, $1,500. I could have got, I literally could have got an engagement ring if I wanted, but pff, I ain't getting married, so fuck that. But that that's just what comes to mind, because we're talking $1,300 off one card here, 
right? What else could I buy? Pay off my tuition. I can. Oh, I could get just a new gaming PC. F First, I go to Stardust probably. Mind control. Two thousand five seven trials of glory. Uh, I don't know why this. I know this card's limited, but it's still from a game. So five, four four or five on lightly played. Nerd mints are eight bucks. Uh, I mean, not bad. If you want, want your one single copy of Mind Control, I would get from Trials of Glory, especially the lightly played. Dante uh, apparently went up because of all the BA support, uh, which I find pretty dope here because I love this card. In fact, a lot of you like BA too, so I really might want to do a BA deck profile, getting the cards slowly and surely, since you guys might want to see that. First, I like plays at eight. Pff, that that that's a very oh okay. Why did I click that? That's an extremely cheap copy here. Eighteen dollars. I want to remember that copy for a second. Uh, twenty twenty one. Okay, so it's a little cheaper. First set your mints. How much are you? Thirty dollars. That's actually really good. This is actually something I do want to play set of. Uh, first set your. There's not many. If listen, if you want first set Dante's, this is when you pull the trigger. You have one last chance. Graph super rares are about eight. That's adorable. Uh, fortunately every. Uh, sevens, but you want to get the first sets, which are ten. Uh, apparently this card's short print as well. Uh, it's funny how this is one of the more expensive cards out of Rising Rampage. Like, we're not going to go over a lot of Rising Rampage here, because I'm just, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to talk about the Ghost Starter that you're like, ooh, too much. Uh, wait a second. There, okay, there's actually something I need to talk about. 500, but there's nine listings. I don't know why, but... It's a lot cheaper than it was. I mean, if this goes to 400, I'll be like, okay, whatever. But in reality, I think it should be 350, 300. But 163, 150, Apollosis. Uh, yeah, this is the mo the second most expensive card. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um, I want to look up one thing really quick. Area here, because I saw nine listings. Uh, first sets, 355. Okay, so... Big oof. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level 8 from Elemental Energy. Uh, Secret Rare. Uh, we're gonna go lightly play to near mints here because it's very cheap Secret Rare coming out of, uh, what's called? Elemental Energy. I mean, 3 bucks for a lightly play on the mid? That's still pretty damn cheap. But I know it's all about the first set, so we will scroll over there. Uh, maybe, maybe this is something like a promo. Because that that's the reason I'm not seeing first sets. I'm trying to see something really quick here. Do 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 do. do. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think it's probably like a promo or a sneak peek or of some kind. That's what I think. Someone let me know in the comment section below because I feel like this isn't from the actual set. If it is, maybe the first set copies just don't exist. But Madolce Pudding says Ultra coming out of Return of the Duels here is bought out. For uh, said light played for about 15. First end mints are 22. They actually have an ultimate version of this that I'm not. I did not pull up. I don't know why, but comments here about nine ten dollars. I actually think I have a couple copies of this, so I'll probably throw up on the store. Uh, unless they sold, I think they sold, but that that's absolutely crazy. Uh, ultimate rares though, lightly played 36. First set 55. First end mint 67. I actually have a. I think, like, a mob play, because one of the corners is really bad. But I got for $4, so... I play a first set ultimate rare in my actual Modal Trade deck. really like this card as well, because as... I mean, you can you fill special summon this with... Uh, special summon off that way. This card on board actually is not bad. Uh, since... If you have no monster in graveyard, it gains 800 attacks. So with Chateau, it's 23, which is cute. Uh, after damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you target one... Card your poke controls to try that target. So it's not bad. It's not an awful card. But yeah, you don't want to draw it here. And then you have Madolche Queen Tiramisu. If you want one copy, by the way, there is an English copy on my store for like sevens. Uh, if you want to support the channel, link in the uh, description below for my eBay shop. We do only ship in US right now, though. So definitely be wary of that. So yeah, about nine bucks here. I still don't have my Super Bezin Gelatos. I don't know why I'm so lazy with this. So, next time order cards off, I do need to get this. But, yeah, I will show off the Italian. The like goal for this is zero because I'm getting it anyway. Lo like, I was supposed to buy it last time, but they just did have their copies. But, yeah. Madolce Messenger OTS Turn Pack uh, 14 here. Two bucks. Not bad. So, 
With that being said, guys, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Hopefully, you guys like the longer market watches. Remember, 65 likes. I will buy out all my Phantom Rage from my local Walmart. And when I say buy out all my Phantom Rage, you guys got to remember, this is looking like $250 uh, Phantom Rage. That's why the like goal is kind of big. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.